Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 7 Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad But a gift destroyeth the heart I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the whole elect. You brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I say Shalom. So, this video is going to be entitled When They Get Rid of the Distractions. People will bug out when they get rid of the distractions people will bug out and I brought this precept out because um, the distractions in the society America uh, specifically is keeping everyone dormant it's keeping all the minds of the people in a dumb low estate you know and even when there are times of, of uh, anger or up, you know, being roused up. You know, they, uh, the amenities in this society ultimately kills that frustration. You know, whether it's a little bit of money or, you know, the, the, the basketball games, the football games, the baseball, you know, the different concerts, et cetera, et cetera. You see? But regardless to what, the oppression has not ceased. The hard labor has not stopped. We're, we're working uh, for a, a penny off the dime. And, and really, to be honest, it's, it's worse than that now. You know, you can be work, you can work up to 70, some, 70 plus hours a week, man. And, and, and uh, you know, the government, they're gonna tax the hell out that check. Let's say, let's say for example, you work 70 hours a week and you bring home $2,500, you know. I say, you know, the gross $2,500. They'll take $700 out of your check. $800 out of your check. Before you even see it, before you even think about the money, they already took off to, off the top. You see? Now, Jake and America, they have gotten used to this. You know? This system. Oh, you know, well, I'll get it back during tax returns or... or um, whatever you know some jake is you know uh dodging the taxes i don't get too much into that but yeah surely oppression make it the wise man mad and, and the fact that we have this wisdom knowledge and understanding um we're 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 vexed even more this is uh ezekiel nine and four and the lord yahweh said unto him Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So we're crying to Zion, man. For the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Whether it's the Moism, you know, um, the different uh, abominable foods being publicized on television as delicacies all the way down to this this uh this way this the system right the the evil workings of this system how it, it keeps you in the lowest state it keeps you uh chained right no we we don't have a physical chain and ball on our ankles anymore but we have a spiritual chip ball and chain, right? It's debt, paperwork, contracts, all of these things that tie you to, um, you know, owing the, the so-called white man. In which we know at the end of the day, at the very end of the day, man, all of this shit is going to be destroyed. The Wadi Haobashimi Aoshai, this place will be destroyed. You see, there is no making it on this side. There's no um, lavish life you can create in Babylon. And if and if you do have a lavish life, you wicked as hell, man. You scheming, you plotting, you you getting you getting over on on somebody in the worst way. 
you know and you got some men out there that do it you know by just means but they're they you can't make it in the society not to know high stature without being uh you know um you know wicked man so you know these people these edomites they have com completely <clears throat> completely uh as it reads here uh where are we at I thought it was maybe a second yeah 7 and 25 I, was, I don't know why I thought of 8 and 25 this is Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 and he and he shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think that to change times and laws and, and they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of times so starting with the Gadites and the Reubenites who were over here before us you know the, the different slaughters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know they wore the saints out, man, and and all the way up until now, they're wearing us the hell out. Extra over, uh, over extra overtime, not just regular overtime. You're doing over overtime, O O T. You know, just to try to make a savings or whatever, catch up on a bill. You know. So this society is meant to to break the body down. But guess what? Through the spirit, you know, we we have been revitalized through the spirit. You know, we're no longer uh, walking amongst the congregation of the dead. You know, though uh, Paul said, though my outer man perish, my inward, inward man um, is renewed day by day. Roughly paraphrasing that that scripture. So our inward man must be sharpened. You know gathering this knowledge wisdom and understanding because when all hell breaks loose it's gonna hey i ain't gonna lie to you it's gonna be scary but it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a great time man because you will no longer be tied to this farce of a life you know right now we're we're, we're um we're in the matrix you know we're we're abiding by the laws we're you know we're, we're law-abiding citizens you know we, we stop at red lights we yield that yield signs, you know, no thievery, no, no, um, whatever, whatever. And all hell breaks loose, man. You know, yeah, we, we play our part as a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American citizen. When all hell breaks loose, all that shit's out the window. All of it. You know, we will no longer have to you know, hide our true identities. We will no longer have to, you know, work under this man, because we're going to be on a we want to be on the move, man. We're going to be on the run. Once they establish the MOTB and they make it mandatory, you you're not going to have you're not going to be able to go to work anymore. You want to badge in with that RFID chip if you want to work. You're going to have to badge in. Or you have to uh, use that that uh, micro C hip if you want to purchase items, you know. So that's what we're waiting on, man. Because that's going to be the very beginning of the complete and utter collapse of this society. The scriptures say, when he is about to fill his belly, then shall the Most High cast his wrath upon him. So be patient, bros. You know, keep fighting. You know. Hold fast that which thou hast. Because the time is coming. The time is very, very close. You know, right now at my job, they're getting more and more strict at the plantation. No headphones, no no cellular devices during production, right? I can feel the tension building up within this, within this, uh, my surroundings. You know, hey, shit, even me, you know, I feel it myself. But, but um, that's why the scriptures say, we, this word was given unto us as a comforter. You see, we have we are comforted 
through the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because we know that it's not going to last forever. So I want to end it there. This is just something real quick through the Spirit. I pray it was exhorting and edifying. Giving all praises again to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Chavadash. Shalom.